Imagine this, you're in the heart of your new townhome, surrounded by moving boxes and the excitement to a new start. The scene is set for your dream life to unfold until the unexpected unravels. As you settle in, you start to discover clues that challenge your notion of dream. The busy road outside, the neighborhood crime, the absence of nearby amenities, the unexpected special levies, and the renovation cost that strain your budget. It's a scenario that can rattle even the savviest homeowners. But fear not, today I'm handing you a treasure trove with the five essential tips to buying your dream Abbotsford townhome. Tip number one, know your Abbotsford neighborhoods. Before you start looking at townhomes, take the time to research and exploring the different areas and the neighborhoods. Talk to the local residents that live in that area. They will share a wealth of information regarding the pros and cons of their neighborhood and the strata complex. Researching and visiting these neighborhoods in person will help you determine which area aligns with your lifestyle and preferences. Tip number two, set your budget and stick to it. One of the best things that you can do to determine your investment budget is talking to your mortgage specialist. The mortgage specialist and the bank will review a few things and they will give you an official pre-approval letter that's valid for anywhere between 90 to 120 days. Once you have your pre-approval, sit down and start doing your homework. The thing that you wanna do is crunch down those numbers. Review your monthly mortgage payments, the monthly strata fees, the home insurance fees, property tax, and your monthly grocery and heating cost. Remember, stick to your budget to ensure that your dream townhome does not turn into a nightmare. Tip number three, partner up with a knowledgeable realtor. So if you are looking to buy your dream townhome in Abbotsford, Partner with a local specialist that helps a lot of first time home buyers and buyers with townhomes in Abbotsford. Having the right realtor on your side is priceless because they can guide you through the home buying process and they will direct you to areas that are both family and kid friendly. They'll have a wealth of knowledge of which areas are safe and certain areas you should avoid. Another thing is when you work with a top agent, they will know the difference between an A-plus strata versus an average strata. Their expertise will save you a lot of time, energy, and even money in some cases. Tip number four, get a home inspection done. Once you have an accepted offer, don't open your champagne bottle just yet. One of the things that you need to do before removing subjects is getting a home inspection done. Spend the five to $600 now to save you the headaches of having thousands of dollars in undisclosed repairs down the road. It doesn't matter if I'm helping a buyer buy a brand new townhome or something that's 15 to 20 years old. My clients are always getting a home inspection done. One thing that they know working with the right home inspector is that they will be able to disclose any things, any areas related to the structure, undisclosed water leaks, or any necessary repairs that need to be done. The other things that a home inspector will look at is your plumbing heating and they will make sure that all the appliances are running. By the end of the home inspection report, you should have a mental snapshot of the condition of this unit. Once you're done the home inspection report, you'll have the right idea about if this townhome fits your needs and wants. Tip number five, review the strata documents. This is a crucial step folks. Once you have an accepted offer, you'll get access to the strata minutes from the last two years. You can review the monthly strata minutes, the AGM minutes, the depreciation report, engineering report if there's one done for the complex, and all the financials. You'll have an idea about how the strata complex is run day to day, month to month, year to year. Another great source of information is talking to the local residents that live in the strata complex. Talk to the local families or seniors that live in the complex, and they will be brutally honest about if you should buy or avoid that area. Another important thing to consider is reviewing the bylaws and restrictions. One of the most common complaints that the Strata Corporation deals with is in regards to pet restrictions. So if you are a couple or a family with pets, review the pet restrictions in regards to the breed, size, or weight of your pet. There are many reasons to buy your next home in Abbotsford. So if you are thinking about making your move to Abbotsford, check out this video on the side which talks about the top reasons to live and be part of the Abbotsford community. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.